Thanks so much for joining us. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get fraction tiles prepared for your math salad bar. The fraction tiles typically come on this nice tray and it looks beautiful while it's in the cellophane wrap. Imagine unwrapping this, sticking this into a drawer into your mass salad bar and telling groups to come up to grab things. I will guarantee you that a kid will completely dump these all over the place and you'll have fraction tiles everywhere and your nice 20 minute modeling lesson with manipulatives will turn into an hour of a disaster. So although the trays are nice, they fit in there and you can actually use the trays to get kids to line up the manipulatives what they when they have them. I find them a bit dysfunctional as I'm using them because it's sure that they're going to be shifted. You might wanna dump yours out flip them over in the fashion that I kind of have here. I labeled this set A with a um, permanent marker. I have other sets that might be labeled B, C, or D. Um, this way there, I can have the, I can save the tray maybe in another part of the salad bar, but here I kind of have this set organized as A. It's sure enough that throughout the day, somebody, especially when you move on to social studies or to reading, someone lets you know that they found a one-sixth on the floor. It's really great on the top of your mass salad bar to have a place, a basket, or a bowl where misfit tools can go for math, that, that the mass salad bar keeper, or maybe the host or hostess for your mass salad bar for your classroom can actually, at the end of the day, put the tools back where they go. I really love these um, fraction holders. I, that are, I put the fraction tiles in these holders. They are actually five by seven photo boxes and it's nice because the lid opens and they kind of file in um, about six boxes fit in here so kids can come up and easily grab these these also could insert into a drawer in the salad bar and very quickly tables can go up and grab their fraction tile sets I typically will do at the minimum 15 sets of fraction tile trays for students to kind of demo or um, play games with them or even to kind of um, share with partners you could also have a set of 30 30, uh, but you want to have them kind of stored in a way that kids could get to them. The one thing about the 5 by 7 box that's kind of unique versus the 4 by 6 box that we use with the place value strips and discs is that the actual holes, what I kind of have a hard time fitting in, and the hole fits in there perfectly. So as we start to put these different fraction tiles inside of our fraction tray, they all fit in there. If I want to pull the tray out and have kids do things with equivalent fractions or actually take their, um, their fraction tiles out and use it as a model on the board, it's really set up nicely to do that. Once all your fraction tiles are inside of the container, it easily closes. Kids can accessibly open it or um, and, and kind of actually be able to see what the fractions are based on what's in here. I oftentimes too like to do customized dice for fraction games, especially when you look at the fraction tiles. They really come in certain quantities within fractions. Like you notice there's no ninths in here. There's no sevenths in here. And sometimes you buy pre-marked fraction dice. And I have never been able to get them to match all of the manipulatives that I'm using in my mass salad bar. And so these are just cubes that we use. I obviously have labeled these for a game that we have for free on our website called Uncover and Cover that you can download. Um, but it's a great game and you kind of put your own dice in here. And the nice part is once you're set putting all of your place all of your um decimal tiles in it just easily closes with the dice and then goes inside the container and kids can go ahead and grab out their um, fraction tiles and use them at their um, station as well as kids could go up during independent work to go ahead and grab these out again i would go ahead and save that tray because it's really nice to have that as kind of a platform where kids are using it with their fractions thanks so much for joining us be sure to check out our website for more fraction ideas and other things with math at sis the number four teachers.org